I always say you never know where life is going to take you. And I never, ever expected to make it here. Hong Kong. Thank you. Very good. Very good. Now my plan is to drop my luggage off and begin my adventures. But, I never made it out. Don't even judge, don't even judge, I got time. But we're gonna see what these sweets are talking about today, right? about the Asian culture, they're just really connected spiritually. They really stand behind it. Yeah. I gotta take some pictures. This is where all the fun begins, actually. Old school Nikon 50 millimeter lens. Oh, we're good to go. Let's do this. I try to fearlessly immerse myself wherever I go. I belong wherever my legs are carrying me. So I shoot across town for a special meeting. What are the difficult things for you as an actor? What do you face like on a daily basis? Being an actor, 97% uh, is waiting. Yes. And uh, three per uh, two person is uh, acting, uh -huh. and one person is uh, talent. Okay. So I think for me, uh, so far it's uh, waiting. Do you get anxious and frustrated? If I didn't get something to do for a long time, yeah, I'm, I'm just a little worried about it. Uh -huh. Just like, oh, <laughs> what I'm gonna do? So you want to do American film as well? So far, I think. Um, I think a movie is better, but uh, I prefer TV series. Okay. I like the DC Comics heroes. You like that show? Yes. <laughs> you like, got excited. Uh, uh, Supernatural and the superheroes, mm -hmm. like uh, uh, the Arrow okay. and the Flash. What superhero would you play? If you could play any? I like Flash. That's a cool one. Yes. And uh, like uh, Arrow. Yesterday I went on Instagram and I said I want to find an actor, an Asian actor, just so I can hear his story, to see how his story relates to mine and other American actors. I think I did hashtag Asian actors, uh, actors, and you know. Then I asked, I said, Hey, if anyone knows an Asian actor, I didn't get any response. So I looked up the hashtag Asian actor, and you put it up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I said, hey, I'm going to send him a message. Yeah. And your posters look real cool. Mm -hmm. It's so different from a Western poster. It's like really, really cool. And Thank I said, you. I'm going to send him a message and see if he wants to sit down and talk about acting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'd love to. Why not? <laughs> um, so I think being an actor is well, sometimes it's very exciting, but sometimes it's uh, you mm, depressed. Yeah? Yeah, just like when you finished a movie or TV series and uh, at the main times you lost your job. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as it's finished. Yes. Yes. This is the worst thing, you know, so... <laughs> but uh, every time you got a new job, you just got to excited. You know? That's true. Yeah, so... <laughs> How do you handle not getting a job? Like, let's say you audition uh, and you think you did real good. I, I learn. Okay. And I read. And I go to practice my Kung Fu. Someone that wants to be an actor, what advice would you give them? Mm. Be patient. <laughs> That's a good one. Yes. <laughs> I think if I played a superhero, it would be Black Panther. Okay. And it's just, it has such a cultural bond with 
Africa and it's a character that came from Africa and he wears a black suit and he knows martial it, it's sort of like a martial arts but an African version of it and I think that that's just a strong way to represent someone of color and um, because I think we don't have enough strong role models being someone of color on screen you know and uh, just to show something different and diverse so uh who is your favorite Asian actor? Who is my favorite? Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. It's a tough question. Because, you know, in hard? America, we don't get much Asian films. I could say Jet Li, Jet Li. and I'm sorry to go to the okay. Marshall. But, you know, the thing is, Jet Li, he is, um, he sort of gets into the character more than a lot of the, the, the actors that we get into the Western world, like a Jackie Chan. Jackie Chan has fun, he's cool, but Jet Li, he has more expression and he really sort of dives into the character and his characters are a little bit more diverse. I would say Jackie Chan is more fun. It's more uh, commercial. You know? Yes. It's more commercial. Yes. So the martial art kung fu is not that real mm -hmm. you know, so for the, for the sc uh, screen, you know. Okay. What's your favorite American actor? St uh, Stephen Amell. Stephen Amell? Yeah, he's quite new. He okay, but that's good. He played, a, he played Arrow. <laughs> so that's just Arrow. your show right now. Yes. Arrow. <laughs> I used to have a, had a chance to play a very big character in movie. Mm -hmm. And that character is such very match for me. Okay. You so wanted that role. I wanted that role. And I was like the 95% uh, getting. Uh-huh. But uh, at the end, it's suddenly, it's suddenly gone. Mm -hmm. I don't know what happened. So <laughs> after like a few months later, I was told, "Oh my God, you know what, Jonathan? That character you got replaced by that other one." So that was. Uh, How uh, did you handle father, it? His father is uh, one of the ambassadors. See, see, that's unfair. But you have to face it. Right? How did you handle that? I keep telling myself, "It's okay, it's okay." So I'm gonna get a better one. That's how you do it. Yeah. Because it wasn't yours. That's how I see it now. It wasn't mine. It wasn't for me. And I just keep going. I think you, you have to be almost borderline crazy to get that. <laughs> because you're playing all these different roles. Mm -hmm. And most of the time, it's you get no's. The majority of the time, you're not getting the role. And you have to accept that. And you have to get up. And you have to go again. But I think that's the fun part about it. Is going again and... You know, tomorrow you wake up, I, I, and even as a filmmaker, some nights I film and I'm like, I don't want to do this. It, it was a rough day, then I wake up tomorrow morning, I'm like, yeah, we're going to go do this, Tony. And it's like, I was asking you about, like, the, have you ever thought about to give it, give it up? I mean, this... Almost every night. Almost every night. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um, I don't... It's my life. You know, it's, it's my life, and I've had some... Last year was my most difficult part, and that's why I had to just get away. You know, like last year I had some great highs and I felt really good, but I was also really, really low last year. And it just broke me down and I just wanted to give up. And, and I realized like, this is my life. This is what I was here. This is my purpose in life. And I can't do anything else but make movies and act. You know, so I, I have to accept it and wake up and be happy about it every day and continue doing it because I am happy doing it. I couldn't see myself doing anything else. Clarity. Thank you, Jonathan Wu. Wanted Dead, screenwriter is something you just get better at through time. But I used to be able to write scripts fairly quickly till I started getting my feelings about everything. And I think that happens with a lot of creative people and just the stage of social media and everything is at your reach and at your fingertips. So you sort of see what everyone else is doing. And I think me being away from home and just being away from just everything, it sort of brought me back to why I like doing this. Why I stay up all night and it's just something that has always been 
wonderfully toxic to me. Just doing something that you could just touch one person. You could just touch one person with something that you did and you could inspire someone else. I think it's all worth it. Oh, well, that got real emo. Uh, I can't end like this. Send me off with a cool, epic ending. Yeah, that's it right there. That's it, that's it. <laughs>